Hey everyone, Yoiston here, and I hope you all are doing well, wherever you are in Middle Earth. This is not a normal sort of video I would make, but it is something I need to address, especially before we get more Rings of Power content this year. Today I want to discuss something that I've been reflecting on for quite some time, and something that I should bring up now that it is 2024, and we will start seeing new Rings of Power things for Season 2 fairly soon. I've always wanted to be honest with all of you guys, so I wish to speak my mind about Rings of Power content on this channel going forward from today. Recently, we've seen some rumors for, about Season 2 from our friends over at TheOneRing.net, which we will jump into a bit later in this video. But first, why will I continue to watch Rings of Power? Especially if Season 1 was so bad and does not seem to be doing Tolkien justice, at least in my opinion. I've been asked by people that like and hate the show both. Why review it if you think it's bad? Either you should not give it attention on your channel at all because it is not a good adaptation from those who think that, or, on the other side of things, you'll just be negative about it, so why talk about it at all, and why not just let the people who enjoy it do just that? These questions have been in many of the comment sections on any video that I make wherein I discuss Rings of Power at all, followed by some other comments that say people are unsubscribing from any channel that discusses the show and that they're going to be doing the same with my channel. All of these questions and comments are entirely valid, for sure. But at the same time, the level of division within the show and the Lord of the Rings community is super apparent, unfortunately, and it was not always like this. I might at some point make a video on that as well, but again, that's not really the type of videos I make, so just let me know if you'd like to see my thoughts on kind of the, where the Lord of the Rings community is at at this point and where I hope we should go with it, but anyway... I'm going to take this time to address why I, as a Tolkien YouTuber, will continue to watch this show and review it, or make some videos from time to time about it, or trailers, or rumors like today, or whatever else. Obviously, Rings of Power will never be the main subject of the majority of the content on my channel, but I will continue to make videos about that as an upcoming project, because it does call itself The Lord of the Rings. It claims to be an adaptation or a show that is at least inspired by Tolkien's works, so I will treat it thusly. To get this out of the way, is there a financial incentive in discussing the show in different videos? Well, of course there is. Making videos on this channel is my job and has been for quite some time, and this is part of that job. However, I don't get paid by anyone for these videos other than YouTube ad revenue, sponsorships here and there, and by viewers out there who generously donate. But I am in no one's pocket, and never will be. I didn't attend any special Rings of Power events in 2022 that I may have been invited to, to maintain my anonymity, one, as well as an unbiased perspective on the show, two. Of course, I've got no issue with those who did go, but it just wasn't for me. I've been a Lord of the Rings fan for literally as long as I can remember liking anything. But I won't overproduce content about the Rings of Power show for money's sake, even though, again, there is a financial incentive. It's just not worth it to me to do that. So, why will I continue to truly watch and review it? Well, again, it calls itself The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. It claims the title of Tolkien's most famous trilogy, and so I will treat it as such. If it continues to be a bad show, I definitely need to review it, because ill-intentioned content, such as Rings of Power Season 1, deserves to be criticized. If everyone who did not like a movie, let's say, never reviewed it or even watched it, that movie would have a 100% on every critic website, simply because by this logic, anyone who did watch and review it were just those people that liked it, and anyone who didn't like it didn't review it. Therefore, it would have a 100%. Rings of Power, at least so far, has deserved so much criticism that it has received, and as a Tolkien YouTuber, I also feel that it's my duty to give my opinion, one of a million opinions, of course, about the show, but still an opinion all the same. Because for so many people, this show, which is such a big deal in modern entertainment culture, will be the gateway into exploring Middle-earth, which is great, but in my opinion, they, those people deserve to know that Tolkien's works are so much better than how the show has portrayed them. And so that's why I'm going to continue to watch and review the trailers in the future episodes, because I think I should do so as a Middle-Earth YouTuber, talking about the biggest Lord of the Rings project that's coming out these days. Without regard to how good or bad it will turn out, I'm not going to stop watching it if it's great, nor will I stop watching it if it's super bad. Of course, I would also say it is up to every viewer out there whether or not they wish to watch my reviews. 
And I totally respect your decisions either way about that. This channel has been so much about this community and what you guys like and, and everything like that. And I'm very, very thankful. I'm so grateful for the amount of support that you guys have shown me. Again, I really, really appreciate that. But I do also feel an obligation to continue to review Rings of Power as well because I have this platform. Sure, when the season comes out, there will be more content about it on the main channel. But again, that's not ever going to take over my channel. Those videos will come out right alongside my weekly Middle Earth content as well, since that is what the channel is truly about, the lore of Tolkien's works. As I have posted a video about some sort of lore or Tolkien-oriented thing almost every weekend for the last seven years straight. So, my friends, I hope you do decide to join me in taking another look at Rings of Power, or at least hearing my opinions on what's to come, as I will have an open mind going forward, but have definitely lowered my expectations for Season 2, after how rough I believe Season 1 was. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. Do you agree or disagree with my decision? Let me know in the comments below. I'm glad I got that out of the way before discussing more Rings of Power content on my channel. I was just waiting for the right time to do it. And I will point to this video in the future to let everyone know why I will continue to discuss this show. Before we wrap up here, we did have some new Rings of Power rumors that I wanted to quickly get into. The link for the article is in the description below. Our friends over at the OneRing.net, our good and dear friend Clifford Broadway in particular, say that it's possible Amazon acquired the rights to The Silmarillion for Season 2, but to be honest, I doubt this. I think after the backlash from Season 1, I doubt the Tolkien estate would be super eager to give Amazon more rights to The Silmarillion. I mean, it's definitely possible, but more what I suspect is that there will be more references to the events of The Silmarillion that are taken from the appendices to The Lord of the Rings that will be shown in Season 2. So, not quite Silmarillion-based lore, but lore from the appendices to The Lord of the Rings, more of it, that will be shown as a reference to the Silmarillion. I think that's more or less going to be the case. A passage in the article states that we will learn more about Halbrand, or Sauron, and his feud with Adar, that orc leader guy. And supposedly Sauron had a son that Adar slew. This is insanely out of bounds as far as the lore is concerned, but, I mean, I could see the show going this way. A lot of these plots seek to make Sauron more humanized, but just make him a caricature of a villain in the end. I mean, it's possible that this happens. It's also likely that we will see Celeborn reunite with Galadriel, and I do think that's definitely going to happen since new people have been cast for the show, and Celeborn's absence is extremely noticeable in Season 1. Celebrimbor may die in Season 2. I mean, maybe. He will definitely have to die according to the source material, but we will see how the rest of the Rings of Power are forged beforehand, even though they seemingly forged the Elven Rings before the others in the show. I don't know. It's totally possible we see his death this next season. I'm, I'm not sure. This next rumor seems to be honestly quite unhinged, but we might see Tom Bombadil and Goldberry in the show as Melkor and Ungoliant serving out their punishment for their deeds in the First Age. I mean, to be honest, this is an insanely horrible idea, a terrible plotline, akin to the mithril elven longevity one from season one, but uh, I mean, you know, it's a, I, I guess it's possible we see this. <laughs> oh, geez. I, I think fans would get super upset, rightly so, me being one of them for sure, as there is no way that there's actually any correlation between Melkor and Ungoliant and Tom and Goldberry in the lore. It's, I mean, at most, it's possible that since they're all kind of enigmatic, Melkor aside, but Ungoliant, Tom, and Goldberry are enigmatic, that they come from some sort of similar origin, but there's no way that they're the same people. Again, I think that would be a terrible mistake, but whatever. Potentially, we will see Felleroth and Shadowfax and Gandalf, or the Stranger, meeting the Maras, but I don't know. Time is not well measured in Rings of Power as the events in Season 1 show us, and they're pulled from different centuries in the timeline of Arda. Again, the timeline of Rings of Power is all over the place, but so I guess we could see this happening, but uh, I don't know. It feels so inauthentic to how all of this happened in the lore, and I feel like they might just see it as like a cool reference to Gandalf and Shadowfax's relationship, but I, I guess it's possible. And that's what we've got so far from this article. Shout out again to Clifford Broadway for trying to gather these sources and, and putting all this together. Really appreciate it. So yeah, he's a great friend of mine. Awesome guy. Again, these are just rumors, so take them as such. All we know is we're in for a very 
interesting, potentially horrible season <laughs> for sure later this year, but we'll have to see. I will try to approach all of this in a calmer manner than I did with season one, but we'll see. It really does annoy me when the show goes super off the rails and cheapens the source material, or at least tries to cheapen the source material that it's being adapted from, but what can we do besides speak our minds? So, again, Rings of Power, I plan to discuss it. <laughs> Even if all of these rumors happen to be true and <laughs> this season's going to be horrible, I I'm not sure. But regardless, I will continue to discuss it because... I feel that's my obligation as a Lord of the Rings YouTuber. So, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning in, hearing my thoughts on all of this. Tomorrow we've got a normal lore video coming up on King Helm Hammerhand, so please look forward to that. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider getting some candles from our friends Mythology Candles, or order some Weta or United Cutlery Lord of the Rings swords, statues, and other replicas from Castle Khan, who does international shipping. Use the code WEST at checkout, and please check out our merch and Patreon. Thanks to our Valor tier patrons and YouTube members, Peter Shepard, Merton, John Hume, Elizabeth Calvert, Mass Gibbs, Reese Jenkins, Arthur Merlin, Dale Davis, Kingswild Project, Theodore, Moon Viper, Andrew Carlisle, and Zumi. Thank you so much to all of our patrons and YouTube members. It really means a lot. My friends, thank you all so much for joining me on this adventure. Until the next one.